Competition. It's the pinnacle of kite supremacy. It is? But sometimes people don't play by the rules. It's tough and can get a little dirty in the trenches. It's just a kite competition. Yes, just a kite competition for which yours truly is totally ready. I give you the Sky Tyrant. Prepare for launch, Seamus. Oh, great Sky Tyrant, the air above is your domain. saying that applies here. Uh, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Back to the drawing board? No stupid kite is going to beat Tracy McBean. I need a whole new design. How to increase uplift, reduce drag, but keep weight down. Question that's confronted aeronautical engineers since the Wright brothers. Tracy, this room is disgusting. I wouldn't want Sandy to live in this mess. But he is living in it, Mum. Uh, somewhere. I think you should clean up your room and now, don't you? <gasps> and then there's your homework and don't forget your chores. Oh, I'm trying to build a kite here. I don't have time to waste on chores and homework. <sighs> if only I had an assistant. Another me to do the mindless stuff while this me gets on with the job. Of course, another me! Tracy, just a sec. I know Shombus. Seamus, not Shombus. Come in, Shombus. Uh, I mean, Seamus. Seamus, I'd like you to meet Robo Tracy. Hello, Seamus. Treat it just like you would me. But don't get away. Robo Tracy will be taking care of my chores while I pursue my many projects. Remember, it's only programmed for menial, repetitious tasks. It's a brainless, moronic machine no smarter than a toaster. But let's be nice to it. Good morning, family. I will now complete my programmed tasks. Oh, my! So clean, so tidy. Does this belong to the family? And you <laughs> found Sandy. Has my work been satisfactory, Mum? It couldn't be better. You do not object for me to call you Mum, Mum? No, no, not at all. What? I don't... How can I? Ow! I believe someone may need assistance. Mum, please excuse me. Take the nature of your problem. Oh, uh, it's this homework. I believe I can assist. You want to help me with homework? Tracy's never done that. I am not Tracy, but Robo Tracy, dear brother. You do not object to me calling you brother, brother. Oh, uh, no. But Robo Tracy sure is some girl. So polite. So helpful. A credit to the McBee family. She's outdone herself this time with Robo Tracy. Who has? Uh, you know, Tracy. Oh, oh yes, Tracy. Tracy. Cool. <laughs> cool. Mm, what a day. I've just about finished the kite. I'll soon rule the sky. Oh, what a mess. That robot didn't do a very good job at cleaning. What are you doing in my bed? Mum and Dad did not wish me to sleep in a cold garage. They said I could have your bed. As if. You're a machine. They wouldn't do that. Night, night, night Robo Tracy. Tracy. Thanks for all your hard work. Hang on, that was my hard work she was doing. You should thank me. Good night, family. I had such a wonderful day today. And tomorrow will only be better. As long as... 
long as I can spend it with you. Oh, spew! Come on, guys. You, you're not falling for this, are you? Oh, oh. she's great. Apparently so. Good night. OK, so my family had turned a little weird on me. But at least my kite was ready. Good morning, Tracy. You have been working so hard, I thought you may require refreshments. Oh, yes. You're good. You're very good. I do not understand. Your little games won't work with me. I know you're weaseling your way into my family. Ready to go? Go? Go where? Amphibian City, where the frog fun never ends. And it's not just frogs. There's Newt World, Salamander Land, and Toad Town. Sure. Ready when you are, Seamus. Um, I was talking to Robo Tracy. Tracy. Let's go. I can't wait to see the Tadpolitorium. You too, Seamus. Maybe the machine is right. Everyone does like it more than me. What should I do? Be all nice and sweet like Robo Tracy? There's got to be another way. People say you can't choose your family, but no one said you can't make them. Do you love me, family? We, we love you, Tracy. Tracy. How much do you love me? Lots, lots and lots, lots forever ever and ever. ever. Brilliant. Just brilliant. And ever and ever. <laughs> OK, I said brilliant, not perfect. <laughs> Attention, family. I have an announcement. Don't put yourselves out coming to the Festival of the Winds. My other family will take me. But, Tracy... Ah, it's too late, Gordon. I've made my decision. I'm going with my Robo Bean family. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, fine. We were going with you anyway. We were going with Robo Tracy to see her kite. You have a kite for the competition? I call it the Wind Commander. I'm going to blow you out of the sky. Winning isn't important. I'll crush you. Good luck. I hope you do well. Oh, you're good. Very, very good. Let's go, Robo Beans. Festival of the Winds, the Kite Lover's Paradise. Oh. Oh. Ah. Take the sky, my pretty. Be free! The Sky Tyrant 2 is master of all it surveys. It alone rules the sky. What the? Robo Tracy! Robo Tracy! Robo Tracy! So the battle begins. Oh, typical. This is what happens when someone from the Pee Wee League tries to play with the Dream Team. and humans working together as one. We will put aside our petty differences and together we'll dance. Save the speeches for later. We've got an idea, dear. Look, I'm sorry for wanting to switch you off. No, I'm sorry. I always wish to have a family. One piece. And we were both awarded first prize. Yay! Me 
and Robo Tracy made up. Eventually. She wanted a family and now she had one. I wanted the Robo Beans to stay, but they were leaving town. They all got a job at a toy factory. They were going to be the whole assembly line. It was sad to see them go, but this town wasn't big enough for two McBean families. Seamus, I've learned something today. I know. As an inventor, you sometimes invent things that are greater than you ever imagined. But you've got to let go because the invention is no longer yours, but the whole world's! I was just going to say, no more robots for me. But that's a lot better. Spot on, Seamus! <laughs> <laughs>